What is going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here. Brings a video here today. Bring you guys a video here. Do not be alarmed by the way. This is just a sort of secondary video. Uh, we're still gonna have a video on Sunday, so do not worry about that. This is not the video for the week, but this is sort of like a little test pilot for 2017. Like the end, right at the end, I'm gonna throw in and just see what happens when I do a speed art, right? Let me know what you guys think of me doing a speed art design for things that I do, like for Twitter, like when I do like little pre-made designs for like mascots, or when I do like little advertisements and stuff like that for like G Fuel or something like that. I do those a lot. And it's just really fun for me like on my off time so what happens what happens when I just put a speed art out there and I would do it more than just having like a video uh, like really cool little video do like the speed art and like having music behind it I feel like I would like to do as well as a, as a commentary right like a quick five minute six minute commentary of just me taking a question that you guys give me and then really extending the answer for as long as I can but also getting to the straight to the point as well right so I think for this example here today I'm gonna go on a limb and I get this question a lot and it's sort of basically like hey Seso like how do you do it right how do you get so good how do you sort of understand things how do you just do what you do right how do you make it in a sense right I'm not gonna say I made it myself I have a lot to learn right and I love doing a lot of different things because it helps me learn at I feel like an extended or excuse me like a I guess a faster pace right um but the way I say this little this simple 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 answer and it is experience right now that word you might just hate like with no you just might hate it, right? But there's no way you can sort of fast forward learning, right? Unless you really just grind out there. But I know there's a lot of people out there who do this as a secondary little hobby and they just do it just to have fun. And that is one of the best things you can do as well. So just understand that when it comes to the word experience, it does not mean, you know, it might like for me, homies, like if you think I'm good now, um, I, I know there's a lot for me to learn still. And there's a lot for me to, there's a lot of people, like there's a lot of things to learn for the people who are even at the tippity top of like beyond, beyond, you know what I mean? There's people still learning no matter what, right? But the word experience, how do I mean it, right? So I'm gonna give you this little simple, little, I guess, analogy, right? This little um, thought, so, you know, this little theory. Let's just say this guy, this student, right? Which is really good at algebra one, right? And he moves on to algebra two and he's just gonna understand algebra two so much better than a person who let's just say another example for a student just goes into algebra two and then just skips algebra one just because he thinks he can do better in algebra two or something like that or just understand it and learn it that person is gonna have a lot more struggle than the person who's already done algebra one and then really has built himself a platform to really understand and then excel at a quicker pace than the other person now what i'm saying by that is just because you get in at uh, like get in in graphic design late it does not mean whatsoever that you cannot do anything that the other person that's really experienced that you can do you know what i mean but there's gonna be little things right there's gonna be like color correction things there's gonna be like placement things there's gonna be font choices things there's gonna be a lot of things that you just don't understand yet because it just comes with time now you might be doing it for like a year or so but you just find yourself like i'm not getting enough clients i'm not getting enough recognition like i feel like i can be so much better i feel like i deserve more attention it comes i'm telling you it comes because for me three and a half years you can look back four years ago and you might have think i was good then i personally know and probably you know as well now that it was not as good right there's always room to learn some people some people just get really really like you know lucky there's luck in it there's luck there is luck involved when it comes to being recognized as a designer but there's also the word luck doesn't mean all and entirely it's 100 luck no i think it's sort of opportunity and as many opportunities as you get one of those opportunities that you actually put yourself forward to you do get lucky on right so it also becomes a sort of you have to have that attitude you have to have that motive to really keep pushing yourself forward and understand if you take an, you see an opportunity you need to take it because those opportunities could be that little lucky strike you know what i mean but in the end you know it wasn't also just 100 luck you know that it was something that you wanted to do you stuck to it and you really understood it and then you just got that opportunity that just really blew you up as a designer or just got you that really cool client and then sort of like it all goes like uphill from there right so that's why a simple, simple answer to it. I feel like it is the word experience. I think that's the best way to put it. And I feel like it's just so, it's such a stupid word, I feel like, because everyone says it, but some people just don't really understand what it comes with. Some people just think that if they just, you know, do, 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 and do, and do, they're just gonna have that happen for them. No, because no matter what, you need time. You really, really do need time. It sucks because it's the enemy, and it's also something that's gonna give you something really, really great as an end result. Um. So uh, yeah, that's how I would basically do these little speed arts 
to like take a question and really extend it. I think I did pretty good on the like the answer. I feel like I didn't go too much on a uh, tangent, but uh, there's always room for improvement for me. And really, maybe I'll have a script next time. I don't really know. I just went for it. But uh, let me know what you guys think about having little speed arts and stuff like that, uh, stuff like this. And basically, it would be a cool little tutorial or something like that right after that, right? So I'll probably have it on Friday and open a tutorial on a Sunday. Who knows? I'm not gonna have it every week, but just something different and something fun to look forward to. Um, so yeah, love you guys. Hope you have a happy, happy holidays. I will still have my video up on Sunday, like I said. But if you celebrate Christmas, uh, Merry Christmas. If you do not, happy whatever Hanukkah, like happy holidays, period, right? Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and thank you guys so much for 75,000 subscribers. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Um, also, the Everything Pack is on sale right now, currently until uh, December 26th. So if you guys want to purchase that, it's for $19.50, so $19.50, and it's really, really awesome. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys then. Uh, peace out. Since so I you out, uh, don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later.